this is tips to write modular code. And this tip, I'm going to talk about some important tips how to write modular code. The first tip is don't repeat yourself. This is very important. So when you write uh, your code, don't repeat. Your code should not be repetitive. Repetitive uh, should be avoid from your code. Modularization allows you to reuse parts of your code. So generalize and consolidate repeated code in functions or loops. So you have to generalize repeated code into functions and uh, loops. So don't repeat. Uh, yourself is a principle that every developer or engineer or software engineer or data scientist should follow. The second uh, tip is abstract our logic to improve readability. This is very important while writing your code that abstracting out code into a function not only makes it less repetitive, but also improves readability with descriptive function names. So when you write your code, you have to use descriptive variables into functions and descriptive function names. That makes it uh, readable and less repetitive because we have to avoid rep uh, repetitive codes by modularizing your uh, uh, codes into functions and loops. And uh, the other is minimize the number of entities like functions, classes, modules, etc. There are trade offs to having function calls instead of inline logic. If you have broken up in your code into unnecessary amount of functions and modules, you will have to jump around everywhere if you want to view the implementation details for something that may be too small to be worth it. So minimizing the number of entities, uh, the number of functions, the classes you define, modules you use, and variable names, etc. So creating more modules doesn't necessarily result in effective modularization. So uh, that is not a good thing that's uh, creating more number of uh, functions in your code. And another important thing, uh, tip for today's lesson is functions should do one thing, not doing many things. When you create a function, that function should do one thing. Each function you write should be focused on doing one thing. If a function is doing multiple things, it's become more difficult to generalize and reuse. That's difficult. If one function doing multiple things, that's difficult to reuse that function because uh, which uh, function, which things uh, you want to reuse from that uh, single function. So you have to uh, use one thing in one function. If a function is doing multiple things, it's become more difficult to generalize and reuse. Generally, if there is an end in your function name, consider refactoring. So if uh, you have, you, you, you use multiple functions, uh, multiple things in one function, you have to refactor in your code again. Refactoring means restructuring your code uh, to improve the internal functionalities without uh, changing the external functionalities of your code. That is very, very important. Refactoring is very important. Every data scientist, data engineers, or software engineer should uh, follow. And another most important tip uh, how to write modular code is arbitrary variable names can be more effective in certain functions. Arbitrary variable names in general functions can actually make the code more readable, more readable. And uh, the, the other and the last tip in this session is try to use fewer than three arguments per function. So, Try to use no more than three arguments when possible. This is not, uh, not a, a hard rule, but it, if it is possible, try to use fewer than three arguments per function. That, uh, so, but in many cases, it is more effective to use fewer arguments in many cases. Remember, we are modularizing to simplify our code and make it more efficient. 
if your function has a lot of parameters, you may want to rating how you are splitting this up. So you have this is very very important while writing your code. So try to use pure number of uh, arguments, it's not more than three. But this is not uh, a hard rule. But it is uh, if it is possible, try to use try to splitting up uh, your function into different uh, modules because one function being one thing. If if you use uh, more parameters or arguments into that function that is difficult to understand and uh, uh, read. So that's our today's lesson about how to write uh, modular code. Thanks for watching.